Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is about soup. You're through, soup Nazi. No more soup for you. Next! It is snowing, it's a blizzard going on, like no joke, Long Island is under a blizzard right now, and we are snowed in, the gym's closed, everybody is snowed in. I mean, there's sideways snow, there's slantways, and just snow everywhere, and my dogs are going crazy, I'm going crazy because I have cabin fever. So, I decided to make some butternut squash soup, and I wanted to share the recipe with you all. A lot of you see me often post this, on Instagram on my stories and it can be vegan friendly if you want it or you can throw in chicken to get more protein in. Can you hear that? Do I go again? Again. It's so much snow. I hate it. I am going to walk you through on how to make this soup. I'm even going to show you how I enter it in my fitness pal and log it. A lot of people always have questions on like, you know, if, when I follow a recipe, I'm not really sure how to log it in my fitness pal. Look no further. I am here to help you guys. So, um, Let's just go on with the recipe. I am going to show you how to enter a recipe in my fitness pal and make sure that it's accurate. So I am on my desktop and so I'm going to go to food and then I'm going to click on to recipes. And I already have butternut squash in here uh, or, or excuse me, butternut squash soup in here. So I'm just gonna click on it and then make sure that all the ingredients and see 1412, I had already put it in. So um, I have a total of 1412 grams of butternut squash soup available. So I make that one gram is one serving. So it's easier for you to measure out your food. So say you only want 300 grams of the soup then you're gonna put 300 servings. I hope you guys understand that. So I am gonna to go to edit recipe. And then 
make sure my spices are in there. Um, my butternut squash soup, it's about a pound. It's like three to four cups is, is roughly a pound. And I have four ounces of carrots in there, 150 grams of a gala apple. I did change that. It did say like one medium apple and um, for more accuracy, it's better, best to measure everything in uh, grams or ounces. And I did change it to low sodium chicken broth before I think I had uh, vegetable broth in there, but I'm no longer doing vegan dieting. So I added the chicken broth and then the onions. And I normally use bacon grease, but this time I went with olive oil. So I, I free handed everything and especially the oil. And I said that it was probably two tablespoons of olive oil, but it is fat and I tend to go over on fat often. So it's best to overestimate than under. So I threw in three tablespoons of olive oil. So now what we're gonna do is save and log it. So today, lunch, and I can't for some reason scroll down on here. So I'm just gonna click on one serving and then I'm just gonna go back to that entry and fix it. So on here, it says one serving right now, but I measured out 300 grams. Click on save and there are the macros for it. So 163 calories, 21 carbs, nine fat, and two protein. And in order for me to hit my protein a lot better, I'm probably gonna like throw in like some uh, chicken. I normally have prepped chicken in my fridge just in case. So I'll just throw that in there. I also have prepped hard boiled egg whites so that's also helpful just to eat on the side uh, so i hope you guys understand how i was able to make sure that i was accurately measuring out my soup or you could do this with chili you could do this with meatloaf you can do this anyway it just takes a little bit of time and practice but it is achievable and that is it it is time for lunch now so if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you like me, click subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.